Hi guys, this is Mrs. Schreckenberg and I'm going to show you some ways that we've been doing long division at school. I'm going to show you the two different ways that I have been doing it. Um, if you want me to show you the traditional way, the way your parents know, I can also do that in another um, video. Um, this is one of the ways that I um, have been working with you guys on it. And this is the going down the side and then adding up the answers. So the first thing you'll do is we're not looking at each digit at this point. We're just going to look at the whole number, 436. And you want to ask yourself, is there a hundred of them, a hundred of the twos? So over here, I'm going to say yes, there are a hundred. So I'm going to do 100 times 2. 100 times 2 is 200. So you would just, you're just pulling them out. You're just taking out that amount. And what we have left over is 236. Now from here, I like this because I'm just subtracting with zeros. I don't have to regroup this way. Now I look at 236, can I do another 200? Well, the answer is yes. So I'm gonna do 100 times two. And then I again have 200. So I'm pulling out that amount. Hopefully you can see my writing here. And then here I have six, I just have 36 left. Well, I can't do the 100 anymore. So now I can ask myself, I always like to start with 50. Can I do 50 times two? Well, 50 times two is 100, that's too many. So I just start thinking, how many ten, groups of 10 can I do? You could do a little math problem over here where you do 10 times two and then 20 times two, just so you have it written down for yourself. Um, but if you notice, I have to, I, between 20 and 40, I only have 36, so I'm gonna do tw 10 times two. So 10 times 2 is 20. So I'm going to take that out of my problem here. And now I have 16 left over. When I get to less than um, a 10 times 2 or 10 times whatever number you're dividing by, that's when you start thinking to yourself, what are my multiples of 2? The multiples of 2 are the ones that you would multiply by. So it would be like 1 times 2 two times two, I'm writing these down here, three times two, four times two, five times two. And you just keep going until you get to 16. Well, I know my facts of two, my doubling facts, and I know that eight times two, oops, it equals 16. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna write over here on the side, eight times two, is 16 and I have zero left over. Okay, this looks wonderful, I have zero, but now what's the answer? So the answer now is going back in these numbers here. So you would do 100 plus 100, well that's 200, plus 10 plus eight, which is 18, so it's 218. You'll notice I had zero left over, so there's no remainders in this one. So this is one way that you can do a long division problem. I'm gonna do another video to show you another way.